Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to episode 20 of the Rigen ID Wedding Show. I don't think when we started out this was a number we ever had in mind, but we are up to number 20, and there's quite a few more exciting episodes lined up for this week, so please remember to subscribe and keep watching. We decided today that we'll make good on a promise that we made in one of the earlier episodes. Yes. Can't remember exactly which episode it was, but we discussed the whole idea of having a like a go-to bag that the bride or the or the the maid right, of honor yeah. can carry with her. They just have a few emergency supplies in it that you can use on the day. I mean, even if you plan a wedding to the T, there's often little things that go wrong. And having a few important items in that go-to bag can kind of take care of that problem the moment it arrives. Yes, totally. So I think Adi will be adding most of the uh, background to each one of those tips. items here because it's, it's things that often or more often happen at the bride than at the groom. But I will definitely highlight a few times where... <laughs> We needed a few important items at the groom side as well. So. Yes, but it's like carrying a handbag. I mean, a guy never carries one. He's got his keys and he's got his phone and he's got his wallet. Yes. But he often takes stuff from his partner's handbag. So that yes. is the, the <laughs> handbag of a wedding day for a bride. So okay, so what's our, call it that. what's our first item? Mints. Something for your Chewing gum? No, okay. specifically not chewing gum because uh, you don't you often don't realize how bad it looks while you're chewing yes it, it can look very much nonchalant you're not actually listening especially and in the photograph if someone, you can actually yes, catch that you yeah. see the you yeah. see the the bubble gum or if someone is be busy with speeches your your um, partner maybe and you are maybe sitting and chewing yeah. you, you're uh, the reason why you you doing it is because you want your breath to to smell fresh but it, it looks so it's such yeah, a terrible it often, look it often looks horrible so it's good advice to to not be chewing anything on the on the wedding day you yeah. can chew your food but i mean <laughs> <laughs> obviously you must chew your food but um but get yeah. spins or something like that yeah. you know which is which is nice and easy to eat and and it or to to, yeah, to just to, yeah, to yeah, have yeah. and not to chew the entire time yeah. on it. Yeah. Okay, so what's number two? Um, baby wipes. Um, okay. We often, we've often saved the day with baby wipes with foundation going off on a wedding dress and even on the white collar of the partner, okay? And there's, there's not many things that can take off foundation. It's a very difficult thing. And we oh, usually have a... But we usually have a, a, a white shirt. Yes. A guy white, wearing a white shirt and, and the, the lady wearing a, a white dress. That yeah. is the norm. Okay. So that is really something very helpful. Um, just normal baby wipes, not a, with weird flavors and oil and yeah, stuff. Just normal, in. just plain, just wipe, the plain, plain baby wipes. Just plain baby wipes. And I think for anyone who's, who's had kids, I mean, I know we, 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 we're now talking to brides and grooms who most of them don't have kids already. But once you've had kids, you realize that baby wipes can be used for a lot of things. And it's something it's that you just, can always keep in yeah, your car. It's a general thing. Yeah. Not <laughs> even having kids. I mean, we're um, uh, just being in a COVID-19 world yeah. is also... Having wipes is a, is a good idea. Uh, yeah, to, to always have wipes with you in any okay. case. Number three. Um, next one is um, something for your lips, uh, a moisturizer like a lip ice or a chapstick or whatever. Because often with the ceremony, um, with the stress, your, your mouth gets dry and your lips, lips gets dry as well. And uh, that's for the guys and for the girls. Okay. And it really just helps. And then for the, for the ladies, um, I would always um, recommend touch your, your touch-up lip, okay. lip, lipstick. Yeah, well, that obviously matches the color that you're wearing. Yes, obviously. Okay. okay. And on that note, um, a foundation sponge. Um, with If you work with any uh, professional makeup artist, um, he or she will usually give you a sponge with that match um, your foundation. That you just keep with you for the rest of our I usually, okay. um, if a girl doesn't have a go-to bag or a guy, I mean, nowadays you can... Um, have the guys even have a little bit of touch up it's good for your photographer to j just um, have it in the bag okay. and the, the photographer's bag is always with you with, and, and with I mean the I think let's just clarify to people why you often need that touch up 
It's yeah. if you start taking the photographs and, and you've kissed, obviously you, you somehow you're going to end up kissing your partner. Or hopefully. Your, your hopefully, yes. Hopefully. And, and um, you often get on the nose or a few places where you might actually rub off some yes. of that foundation. And it's not as easy to fix afterwards. So rather fix it right there with the right makeup and then everything looks Yeah, right. it's so easy. I mean, we, are, we so often hear people say, oh, just Photoshop it. <laughs> I mean... We, we take uh, video as well. Yeah, you, you can't Photoshop video. thousands <laughs> of photos. It's ridiculous to expect someone to Photoshop a, a place that's, that's um, yeah, and, and off again, that you can fix. I think let's just comment on that again. In real life? Yeah, if the moment you start working on someone's face, if you, if you, we're so used to see other people's faces that um, it's very difficult to work on someone's face without making it obvious. So it's, it's sure. really one of the most time-consuming things to Photoshop someone's face and do it in a way that no it's one can fake. see it. Yeah, that it's not fake. And the other thing that Adi touched on is video is part of things nowadays. I mean, for a lot of people, the video is becoming almost more important than the photographs. And with video, there is no such thing as just Photoshopping it. Yeah. So you need to make sure that the things are as, as right as possible. Yeah. That's the idea. I tell you. Okay. So, um, oh, just one, on that one tip that, that all the brides and grooms can just remember and we often brief them on the pre-shoot and the wedding day as well, is that whenever you put your heads close to one another, that you don't press up against one another, that you actually just touch softly. Because except for the rubbing off of the makeup, it doesn't, an explanation. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't look nice if you're squashing your nose against someone else's face. So just be soft and gentle. It is a little bit fake. <laughs> but I mean, if you do this, a soft one versus... Uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> so just it do it soft, soft and gentle, soft and gentle. <laughs> okay, where's my foundation? My foundation we'll need, sponge. You'll need some touch up. We'll need to get the, the makeup. The makeup crew needs to come in. Makeup. <laughs> okay, then we talked about uh, the lips getting dry um, because of a little bit of stress. Um, to have water with with the shoot is so important. Yeah, just close by because you um, are going to get thirsty. Just one bottle, yeah. you and your partner can um, share. Just have something to, to keep your mouth dry, um, wet the entire yeah. time and moist. It's, it, For, even, even with the shoot, some people still get stressed. Yeah, and, and in the church, I've, I've seen quite a few yeah. times where the brides and grooms, are, their mouths are so dry of the stress. So having, having a small bottle of water close by that your bridesmaid or one of the groomsmen can pass you, especially before you need to say your vows or something like that, can be a lifesaver. So yes. just keep that in mind. I mean, it's not, not there to say you can take a whole water bottle. Like, you don't have to do your own like intake. In a run, you stop at the water station. Your intake of water, your You can, three you can do it discreetly. <laughs> just actually just you know, um, watering your yeah. mouth, just wetting, wetting it a bit. Okay. okay then, on the, then the other thing, um, usually when we go on the shoot, um, well, we often... Most of the time, do it in nature. Yes. So there is a little bit of walking, and we will never let someone climb a dune or, um, or Unless climb they want a to. mountain. Unless yeah, they want we, to. we once had a bride that wanted, wanted to, climb. to climb a dune, and I, I, she was fitter than us, okay? <laughs> that was actually very funny. Okay, but in that instance, we really recommend that you take a second pair of shoes with a comfy pair of pumps for um, the ladies. Yes. Because often you've got very high, dainty, beautiful wedding shoes. Yes. And it is just impractical to wear and to wear on location. And often the the wedding dress um, is up to the ground, so you don't see the yeah. shoes except for when you physically Lift uh, up pick dress, it up. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, shoes for the for the photo shoot something warm to wear because we often do our photo shoot in golden hour it then tends to get a little bit colder so for in between the the photos you can have something over your shoulders and you can throw it to me and we'll take the yeah. next photo and there's no need for you to be ice cold yes just just something to, especially the girls and, and if it's more even well, even in december it can be chilly at yes. night it's not impossible yeah. it's normally quite warm but it can be um, and then with the shoes and everything, uh, we often recommend that they keep powder with them as well. Even if we go into the beach or something like that, it just helps to quickly get the, yes. the sand off your but, feet. But we'll rather, that's a big thing to okay. carry along. So we'll we'll have it in our bag. We've, we've got a, our own go-to bag. So let's just stick for now to the okay, bride's to the bag okay. Eh? Okay, cool. or the 
whether the the bridesmaid is going but, to. But I mean, if they've got a small yeah. little hold of powder, it's it, it's it's actually yeah, you not get a bad that thing. little travel yeah. bag travel size. Yeah. yeah, and it's also it's also good for when you sweat. Yeah, I mean, you can just pour a little bit of powder and Bob's your uncle. Okay, then another one is headache tablets. Yeah. Um, with your water, having your water, <laughs> have a headache tablet. Um, something that you know, not something that someone else gives you. Yeah. And you're not sure what Th- you're take taking your own, in. Take your own headache powders with you. Yeah, yeah. If you or if you used to, if you used to um, using a panado, no, I take, don't think take, it is good to take a comprol. No, or take what you comfortable with. It. You obviously don't want a headache on your on your wedding day, but I mean it is a stressful day for a lot of people. Uh, often you drink less water than you should. Yeah, so you, you end up drinking some, you drink some champagne or stuff like that. So you might just end up with a headache. And I mean, you're not going to enjoy it as much. So rather just have it with you. You've got water, you've got headache tablets, and then it just makes it so much more enjoyable. We, we, we hope for everyone that you don't have a headache, but I mean, in the case that it happens, you prepared. I think that's yes. what we're trying to get at you. You prepared. And then in, um, on that note as well, to have a, a little snack. Um, Wh- whatever you like. Whether it is... Nuts, uh, energy bar, n- yeah. sweets. B- Droevors. Biltong. Uh, gummy bears. Everyone's got his <laughs> own thing. Whatever floats your boat. Yes, yeah. everyone likes their own thing. But make sure not to drink your headache tablets on, on an, an empty, empty stomach, stomach when you still have a long night um, and, ahead of you. And some champagne and things like that. So, yes. yeah, so be, okay, so, be um, responsible. Um on that note, I think I've I've um, passed that one. This the sewing kit. Yeah, yeah, that's very important. Like you a small actually, little emergency kit with some with with needles, some thread, um, a few pins. So we've once had an instance where the bride had a beautiful dress and it had one button on the back that kept everything together, and that one button decided to come loose. So I ended up driving to the spa, and all we could find was was actually white, but it was rope. It was quite and a we used a piece of rope, rope. To, to fix to fix the dress. Yeah. So we've had some very interesting instances. So having like a little sewing kit close by, um, with needle and thread and some pins, you can quickly repair anything. I've had more than once that the guys open brand new shirts, like we've said previously, those shirts should be ironed and not open on the day of a wedding, but it happens. And then they take out one of the buttons and the button yeah. falls off. It wasn't so it properly. So it happens. And then having the right kick there, having um, everything that you need just takes away the stress. And I think that's our whole idea with this little emergency kit is just have the things that the venue might not have, or you might be getting married on your parents' farm in the middle of nowhere, and it's a half an hour's drive to a shop. Okay, on a farm, people should have things, but <laughs> you never know. Yes, but often the photo shoot is not at the same place yes. as um, where the reception is taking place. It's just off ground so that you can yeah. have a little bit of privacy. So um, then it is, it's not practical to drive back to get... Not for a, something silly or small, yeah, like a, like like a wardrobe that, malfunction. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> definitely not. Then, then one last thing that that we recommend is having a, a picnic basket for the photo shoot. And don't think that you know we're going to try and photo shoot or Photoshop, oh, not Photoshop, photograph a picnic scene. It's not really that. It, it often makes for one nice photograph or two nice photographs, but it's more often than not when the when the whole pro- party goes along. You know, when you've got the whole bridal party and the couple on the formal shoot. It just keeps them entertained and it gives us time to focus on the bride and groom and get the nice shots. That's and right. if they want to take a break and have a quick snack and have something to drink, it's their wedding, it's your wedding day, you, you must also enjoy it. So, yeah, if speak to your venue. We know a lot of the venues in our area specifically do provide a picnic basket that can go along. It's and if they don't, then always bring your worth own. It. Yeah, it's always champagne. worth it. Yeah. If it's always if, worth it. If you're working on a budget, keep it simple. Yeah, pack and your own one. Bring... Make sure you bring something to drink, yeah. something to snack on, and um, serviettes and uh, toothpicks, especially oh, yes, toothpick, for after yeah. <laughs> you've had something Especially small. if there's boltong or drovers in the picnic basket. <laughs> or uh, Spanish quiche. <laughs> yes. It's gonna, yeah. Just bring a toothpick. Yeah. It's, you know what? It's, it's, it's most probably one of the last things that, that you will think about, but... A, a wedding stays a, a practical thing. So if you if you 
eat something and there's usually something stuck in your teeth. It most probably going to happen on your wedding day. And you don't well. want that in the photos. So, <laughs> and again, on a photo, you could probably take it out, but in a video, it's going to be there. You know, so so just consider that. Just just be prepared. I, I think that's that's kind of it. What we do want to say is, if if you think there's anything else that can go into a, a go to bag or would make an even better go to bag, please comment below. If you've had other instances or things happen to you um, that you think might add, let us know, and oh, uh, we can always have a late episode of you know later on and add revisit on. revisit this and uh, add. Eventually, we'll have a proper go to bag, you know, that you can go to war with, <laughs> not just to a wedding. What I'm thinking of is also a little hairspray. Yeah. Okay. A little hairspray that for doesn't the girls, work for me. especially um, in a windy town like Jeffries. Um, we always shoot outside. The, yeah. the formal shoot is always outside, and then you're entering the, the your reception area. So if you want to just quickly do a comb out, and your um, yeah. might might of honor can help you sort out your hair, yeah. okay. and just yeah. So that is also. So see, the idea's yeah. already added something to our list. So yeah. let's keep on building the list, and um, we can revisit it a few episodes later. <laughs> Um, I think there's one more thing from our side. We want to say congrats to Sasha, who was the second winner of the Vova Rova yes. bag. So congratulations on your bag. It'll be on your on its way to you shortly. Or I I, I think we we we're not gonna post it. We're gonna. Well, we find out from her. We we we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it here and make sure she comes as as soon as possible for to visit shoot. us for the shoot in Jeffries. Yes. Yeah. As soon that as the interprovincial awesome. travel bans are lifted. Cannot so. wait for that. <laughs> So yeah, so thank you very much. We'll be back again tomorrow with another exciting episode. And if everything goes according to plan, we might be we might be shooting on location again tomorrow. Um, please remember to subscribe. And um, yeah, when we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving away the Trichan AD family lifestyle or couple shoot to the value of three thousand rand. And all you have to do is just be a subscriber. So until tomorrow, have an awesome evening and see you again. Thank you very much. Bye. Cheers.